Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel, it's Chelsea, and today we're going to be looking at some things that I picked up during the Black Friday sales because there were a lot. So I am going to be sharing with you all my Black Friday shopping haul. I am going to try on some of the makeup that I do have here, which is why my face is bare. So stay tuned for all of that. But before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. If this is your first time here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel and join the Glam Girl Squad. And if you are a returning subscriber, well, thank you so much for deciding to come back and support my channel with all of your likes and your comments. They all truly do mean a lot to me. So let's get into this video. Outfit of the day, my whole ensemble is from Wally World. So this sweater top is so cute and comfortable. I got it in a size medium because it is pretty oversized and I also wanted it to be able to grow with me as I continue to grow. So I, this definitely runs quite large because as a medium, you can see there's still a lot of space. Like if I were to wrap it around, I've got a, a lot of extra space back here. I like too that even though it's oversized, it's very fitted on the arms. So it makes the sweater a little more tailored and not as frumpy. The sweater was like $15 at Walmart. The brand is Time and True. Don't sleep on Walmart's Time and True brand. It's a really good brand from what I have um, purchased from them so far. And these jeans are from Time and True as well. They're actually not maternity jeans. I just got them in a size larger, but they're really nice, very comfortable. Obviously, they work with me in my belly. And they were only $13, y'all. $13, I couldn't get over it. So really enjoying this outfit right here. Very comfortable and the jeans are also stretchy. So depending on your size and your shape, you probably, I would say, either be able to choose your size or maybe even go a size down because they are quite stretchy. Okay, so let's get into the video. First, let's start off with some of the clothing and shoes that I purchased. First thing I wanna talk about are these slippers that I picked up from Amazon. So these are $18.99. They're so cute and comfy. I shared these with you all in my um, nighttime skincare routine very very comfortable and they have a little bit of arch support so i really really like these i then picked up some pajamas so guys i have been obsessed with pajamas i don't know if it's because i'm pregnant and i just want things that are comfortable and cozy or if it's because we're in covid and so we're just home but i don't want to look you know raggedy at home i don't know what it is but i have never loved pajamas this much in my entire life okay so I saw this set for $19. This is so silky soft. I wish like there's somewhere you could feel this, but this is silky soft. I got a size large, which is a 12, 14. And this shirt fits very comfortable and nice over my belly. And then these are the corresponding pants to go with the bottoms. The whole set was $19. I was like, add to cart. And then also went to Target and I picked up four more of my favorite pajamas. I talked about these in my gift guide recommendations video, and I already I told you guys I already have like six or seven pairs of these pajamas. And then when I saw that they were 30% off, I was like one, two, three, and four. So they're still en route to me, but I'm putting pictures up so you all can see which ones I picked up. I cannot, cannot get enough of these pajamas. All right, so I should be good on pajamas for at least the next Actually, I'm gonna ask for some more for Christmas. I, I Like I told y'all, I'm just obsessed with pajamas. And then I picked up these pairs of boots from Vince Camuto. They were 50% off and I got a little handbag thrown in there for free. Those are still en route to me as well um, and I cannot wait for them to arrive. Okay, on to some non-makeup but beauty stuff. I picked up the Kopari deodorant. So I really enjoyed this one. This is the um, scent beach and i tried this scent earlier this year used the whole thing up loved it i then bought the tropical scent and i don't for some reason that that particular scent does not hold me as well as the beach one so i picked this one up really love how smooth the uh, roller ball is and this beach scent will hold me a good eight some hours. Lila B was having 30% off of their sale and I love their a glow cleansing butter. And I'm almost out with the one that they sent me. So I purchased 
this one because I, I will probably finish that one up in a week. I really, really love how it takes off my makeup really well. I, I also like went into more detail in my nighttime skincare routine video. So I'll link that for you so you can see it if you want. And it smells like lavender. So it's really soothing and calming at the end of the night, taking my makeup off. And this also leaves my face nice and hydrated after I take it off. Okay, let's get into some makeup. So I'm gonna prime my face with the Surratt Perfectionista Primer. For foundation today, we're going in with a Tarte Foundsealer. Not any foundation at all, but I have been eyeing this foundation for a while now. So this is what it looks like. And I picked up the shade 44H. So when I saw that the foundsealer was on sale for half off, I was like, I think now is the time to try. Always heard that it's very beautiful, natural-like, great as like an everyday type of foundation. I've worn this foundation once and I like it so far. It, I would agree, this is a really nice everyday wear type of foundation. Gives me good medium coverage, but it's not heavy on the skin. So very happy with that. Now on to concealer. So I didn't purchase a new concealer, but I wanted to mention these two also by Tarte. They are currently on sale for $19 at Ulta. Saw that this morning. So the uh, Tarte Shape Tape is on sale for $19. And then the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand is on sale for $19. So in the Shape Tape, I wear the shade Tan. And I don't even need to talk about this, found this concealer. Um, it's, a, it's a literally a cult favorite and you are fully aware of that. So I'm just going to apply it here. This concealer can definitely be a little too matte for my liking. So the glow wand is a liquid highlighter, but what I like about it, um, and I have the shade a gleam in the glow wand, but what I like about it is it's, it doesn't have any shimmer to it. And it's almost like almost the shade I have almost like a glowy concealer. So what I like to do is I will place it right here along my under eye for times when I do wear a concealer that is a little too matte for my liking. You can also place it on the high points of your cheeks if you want to and just use it as a traditional liquid highlighter. And I'm using the Surratt Perfectionista complexion brush tip on this end. But I really like using the glow wand with the Tarte Shape Tape. I get good coverage from the Shape Tape, but then I also get a nice glow and nothing that's too matte. So I really do like those two together. So I wanted to highlight those since they currently are on sale at Ulta. With my setting powder, nothing is different here. Using Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder in medium. And then I'm gonna top this with the Pat McGrath Under Eye Blurring Powder, right here, shade medium as well. And then going in with the Pat McGrath Blurring Powder and my Sonia G Smooth Buffer Brush, and then buffing this powder along the rest of my face that does not have powder. Okay, so I technically didn't purchase this during Black Friday, but I pre-ordered it back in October and got this while all Black Friday was going on. So I figured I'd show you guys this. I picked up the two new Chikahoto brush sets that were being sold on Food A Beauty. So I picked up this three piece set. This is the Soiree Chikahoto set. It does retail for 105 and you get two eye brushes and an angled face brush. The face brush or the powder brush is going to be composed of Psycoho goat hair and the bristle length is 40 millimeters. And here's a closer look at this angled brush. I haven't used it yet, but just from feeling it, it feels extremely soft, so soft. Then we have this eye brush right here. This is going to be composed of Psycoho goat and the bristle length is 16 millimeters. And so I think this will be great for applying shadow on the lid. And then we have this smaller eye brush right here that's composed of Psycoho goat hair. And the bristle length is seven millimeters. And I've already tried this one and I've used it for putting eyeshadow along the lower lash line. Really, really nice. I then picked up the complimentary five piece set. So this is the complimentary five piece set. 
It is the Orb set and it retails for $240. Both of these sets are limited edition and, they're, and they only came out with 300 sets of each. So once they sell out, they're gone. So this large powder brush, oh, so soft. Um, this is composed of goat hair and the bristle length is 55 millimeters. Then I have the rounded cheek brush. This is composed of gray squirrel and the bristle length is 33 millimeters. We have this larger eye brush. It's composed of gray squirrel and the bristle length is 188 millimeters. We have this other eye brush and this is going to be composed of gray squirrel hair and it is and the bristle length is 12 millimeters and then lastly we have this eyebrow brush and it is composed of tanuki brush hairs and the bristle length is six to eight millimeters and if you order the five brush set you get this really really nice brush case so when you turn it on in the back you actually have a little pocket here maybe to add um, more brushes if you want it to the inside of it is really nice. I like that there's a flap here so that you can store your larger, longer haired brushes and you won't have to worry about them getting caught in the zipper. And then on this side, you don't have a flap, but you've got this nice protective plastic so that you don't, you don't have to worry about the brush hairs rubbing it up against this material. And all eight brushes fit comfortably in this particular pouch. So I could actually add more to this um, to travel with me. So I'm, I'm really happy to have this one. I have always wanted a Charlotte Tilbury instant look in a palette palette. And I decided to go for it and pick this one up. So here's the outer packaging, which I think is so, so pretty. I like how when Charlotte comes out with a holiday theme, she tends to have all of the same packaging for those holiday palettes. Here is the inside of the palette. And we're gonna use this entire palette for face and eyes and cheeks. Um, so number one, so we can see if this would even work for me in terms of all of the shades. Cause I'm not gonna lie, this bronze shade looks a little scary. Okay, a little scary. <laughs> First with the bronzer. I'm gonna take my Chikahoto powder brush, the angled one. We're gonna dip right here into this bronzer. And I will say this brush fits very nicely in the bronzer because the pan sizes are not too large. Okay, uh, we showing up just a little bit. I have always, have you ever just like wanted something because you see it everywhere? You're like, I want it to work for me. That has always been how I felt about these palettes but I always felt like they were too light. And yes, there's definitely still some room for improvement, but I am happy that the bronzer does show up. This is blending really nicely, and this brush feels so, so nice along the face. The bronzer, she describes it as a warming sun-kissed bronzer. And I definitely would agree, this is a nice warm bronzer, but it's not too red. I think it definitely just brings nice warmth to the skin. On Unfortunately, this particular palette is discontinued. It doesn't even say sold out. It says discontinued. This is the gorgeous glowing beauty palette. Why did you do that, Char Girl? This is so pretty. Let's go into cheeks. So I'm gonna go in with the Chikahoto rounded cheek brush. And this is actually gonna be perfect because this is a small brush that fits really nicely in the pan. So the pink color that I'm about to put on my cheeks Charlotte describes it as a warm rose pink. Let's see how it looks. Oh yes, this is nice. Oh, this is so beautiful. I'm so sorry. Who knew she was gonna discontinue it? Maybe she'll bring it back. Let's see, let's see. Let's hope she brings it back. If she does, I will let you all know for sure. And it definitely is, it, de it definitely is a nice um, shimmer. I don't know if you all can see the hint of gold on my cheeks. Um, but this is really, really beautiful. And then I'm gonna go into this cheek Swiss shade right here, which she describes it as a pretty champagne pink blush. So we're gonna take it, same brush, and just pop this on the apples of the cheek. And let me just say, I'm really enjoying this uh, blush brush as well. Perfect for swishing color along the cheek. I usually like an angled blush brush, 
but I, I am really digging this and I love the size. It fits my cheeks really nicely. Okay. I am already liking this palette. So let's go into the face highlight. So this is described as a dreamy golden highlight and it's this shade right here. So I'm going to go with the same brush. Oh, that's pretty. Really, really pretty. I, oh, she did so good with the color selections for this palette. All they, although they do look light in the pan, I think because she chose warmer shades and warm undertones for the shades, it made it so much more complimentary for tan to tan deep skin. Okay, so I'm gonna prime my eyes and bring you in to do a quick little eye look with this. I'm gonna palette. go in with my Wayne Goss 18 brush and we're gonna go in with this smoke shade right here. Ooh, and we're just gonna sweep this all along the outer portion of the eye. I'm gonna go in with the enhanced shade right here and the Chikahoto larger eye brush. And also blend it into the smoke shade. This brush is packing on the color nicely and it's also blending it out pretty nice too. And then for the inner corner, going in with this brighten shade right here and my Chikahoto eye brush. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the smoke shade and this eye brush from the Chikahoto Orb set, the five piece set. Can use this to smoke out the lower lash line. And then going in with the eye brush from the Chikahoto Soiree set, the smaller one and the enhanced shade from the palette. We're gonna put this right here. Same brush going in with the brighten shade for inner corner. So along with the instant look in the eye palette, I bought the kit, like I said, that came with the brown eyeliner. So I want to apply that while we're here i've never tried any of charlotte tilbury's eyeliners but you all know my favorite are the wayne goss eye coals so i will be comparing these to that i really like the intensity of the color so i chose the color classic brown because i love brown eyeliners i just i love them and so far it's blending nice and smoothly along the eye and i'm loving the intensity of color like you can see a difference in the intensity of color along this eye versus this eye. Okay, that was nice. Let's go ahead and apply this along the upper lash line just to give this area a little bit more definition. Going in with the angled brush from the Chikahoto Orb set and blending out that liner. Okay, so I'm gonna finish off my eyes and then we will come back and talk about the rest of the products that I picked up during the Black Friday sales. So stay tuned. Okay, so eyes are done. Popped on my Amazon. These have become my favorite hooped earrings and then I love this necklace from Amazon as well. So I wanna show you the other things that I got from Charlotte Tilbury and then we'll move on to some other products. Also, during her Black Friday sale, you could pick a trio of her eye quads and get 40% off of that and I was like oh yes because I have quickly come to enjoy the Charlotte Tilbury formula of her eye quads. This is Golden Goddess and I'll do swatches of all of these after I show you all what they are. We have Vintage Vamp, Rebel, and then because my order was over a certain amount I got for free her palette of pops. So here is the palette of pops. So I am so excited to have all of these. So I'm gonna do some really quick swatches just so you can see the shades. All of these palettes are still available for purchase. So if you are interested in them, you can definitely pick them up. And they each retail for $53. So here is Vintage Vamp. And this is really, really pretty. There are obviously two shimmers. And these two shades right here have a satin formula, but 
because they're not too satin like and they have like a smooth almost like matte satin combination type of formula that's how they feel i would definitely use these as matte shades you know in the crease and the outer corner of the eye here is golden goddess and i am loving the cooler tone of this palette so we've got your shimmer shade your pop shade and then once again these two shades right here are the satin like types of shades this one <laughs> i cannot wait to do this can't wait to use it and i'm gonna use all of these palettes in another video because i want to you know give each one of them their time to shine so stay so be on the lookout i'll be featuring all three of these palettes so like three looks three palettes type of video here is rebel this green one which looks so so pretty and stunning so this is uh so this one is actually full of shimmers um this is the pop shade right here these two are the same formula just in, t in terms of how they look this one has more of the smoke shade has more of like a shimmery pop to it so i would probably for me i would probably need another palette some type of matte shade to complement this one so here are all four shades from the palette of pops and what i really enjoy is that the formula is not identical in all of these for for all of these shades which i really thought they would be i thought that they would all be more like this shade just that sheer pop shade that she traditionally has but i like that these other three shades actually have some depth to them that they are more opaque because then you can use them more like a traditional eyeshadow versus just a pop eyeshadow so those are all four palettes that i got onto some lip products so first i'm gonna swatch the lip stick the kissing lipstick in stoned rose that came with the instant look in a palette this is really really pretty it's stoned rose but i feel like there's a bit of like a terracotta shift to it mm, i like this and the formula is satin, so it feels really comfortable on the lips. Next, I picked up this mini lip liner kit from KKW. And I've always been interested in her lip liners. And so I saw the kit. I was like, I'm going to go for it. Had some points in Ulta that I could spin. So I'll swatch all of the shades really quickly for you. This shade is 90s style. And I will say, I've already swatched these shades and I was really, really shocked that all of them actually show up on me and I can use them as actual lip liners. Here is Nude One. And the lip liners all are pretty creamy on the lips. Um, and I could definitely use them as just like an all over lip color as well. This is Classic Icon right here. Nude Two which looks really, really pretty. And then Nude 1.5. So I'm actually really happy with the shades that are in this little mini lip kit. Um, it's still on sale at Ulta. I'll update you all the more I use them, but so far from the one time that I did like just swatch all of them on my lips, I did enjoy how they felt on the lips and I felt like they were nice and creamy and they weren't too dry and they didn't skip on my lips so so far so good lastly i didn't purchase this but this arrived on my doorstep during all of the black friday sales so i do want to feature this shanta kai sent me a couple of products so they sent over four of their la matte stylo lip pencils and they sent over two of their luminescent eyeshadows so here is one of the luminescent eyeshadows and this is in the shade rose gold and i have yet to try these on the eye i'm gonna do that in an in another video but look how pretty this looks oh i can't wait to put this on my eye this shade right here is called smoky burgundy and here's this shade swatched on my arm both of those look so, so pretty. And of course, you know, Shantakai is always about giving back to um, wildlife nonprofits. So I love the outer packaging of both of these eyeshadows. A little known fact about me. Um, I wanted to be a veterinarian from the age of four until about my junior year of college. 
like if you knew me when I was younger, everybody knew like that's that is what Chelsea wants to do. And more specifically, I wanted to work in the safari, like work with wild animals over there. Um, so I, I do have like a special love for like all safari types of animals, elephants, lions, tigers, all of them. Then on to these lip pencils. This is the shade Meadow Sweet. This is what Meadow Sweet looks like, and I think it's beautiful on the lips. I love the pinky undertone of this lip crayon. Y'all know I love me some pinky undertones. And the formula is matte, but it's also a comfortable matte. So I don't feel like my lips are overly dry. And, you know, I also feel like the crayon is smooth enough to where it glides really nicely over my lips. I do have some dry areas on my lips because I need to do a lip exfoliation. But this is not accentuating any of those areas. The formula is really, really nice. Next, we have this shade called Snapdragon. This one is a pretty shade as well. This shade does appear a little more sheer, so I would definitely wear a lip liner underneath it just so that I can have more of an opaque look to my lips. But I do really like the color, and I feel like this is a color that I can wear without a lip liner if I felt if the formula was a little opaque for this shade. Next is Aster. Aster is beautiful. I really, really like this one. I have a mirror down here. That's why I keep looking over here. Really, really like this color. This formula is more opaque than Snapdragon, so I don't feel like I need to have some type of lip liner underneath. And once again, really comfortable on the lips. And then lastly, we have Lobelia. And this one is beautiful. I love red lipsticks, love them. I like that this is a nice, true, solid red. And I did save this one for last because I am wearing a red shirt. I did. <laughs> but once again, really nice and opaque. And the formula is really, really nice. So thank you so much to Shanta Kai for sending over these lip crayons and the two eyeshadows. The last thing that I wanna share with you all is a fragrance that I picked up and I picked it up from Russell and Sierra Wilson. So if you're not aware, they just launched their own fragrance line. And is this bottle not the cutest? So they created two fragrances, one for males, one for females, or, you know, depending on what you're, uh, scent of choice is you you get this duo it retails for $90 and on the tops of the fragrance you've got the R for the Russell fragrance and then you have the C for the Sierra fragrance so they're held together by a magnet and the cool thing that I just <laughs> the juicy mushy lovey person within me like gushes over this these two cannot stand alone so I, I i bought this for my husband and i he actually really enjoys the scent i love the sierra scent it smells so good i'm going to share with you all the notes very soon but i went to go take the sierra scent and i was like okay i'll keep this with my other fragrances and if you try to stand it up it's gonna fall over you can't neither of them can stand alone but if you put their love together Look at that. <laughs> yes, I am that person. So I am so here for the fragrance. I think it is just, it smells so good. Okay, so let's talk about some notes. So the Russell fragrance, it says it's going to be an appeal of invigorating bergamot and black tea blend. It's also going to have ambroxan to expose an addictive contrast to the skin that's hard to resist. Then it blends in perfect harmony with this aromatic heart notes of lavender that combine with juicy pear blossom and water lily. It also contains a smooth blend of patchouli, musk, and vetiver drive. So that is the Russell scent. The Sierra scent is going to start off with mouth-watering juicy red berries, delicate freesia, and an unmistakable freshness of pink peppercorn. It's going to also have for the heart notes, a blooming bouquet of white flowers and delicate peony that will evoke a fresh, classic, yet modern femininity. And then the fragrance warms the skin with smooth musk and sandalwood blend. 
into addictive notes of vanilla for an irresistible signature that lasts guys let me tell you i am so here for both of the scents i really like the way that the russell scent smells on sean and i love the way the sierra mist smells on me so i'm really glad that we got this i'm glad that sean enjoys the scent as well <laughs> just to give you an idea um a couple of his favorite uh scents are jimmy choo and jimmy choo blue and the, the russell scent reminds me of like that kind of family of scents and then for me, some of my favorite scents are going to be the Coco Chanel Madame Wazel fragrance. I also love the Twilly fragrance and Victor and Wall Flower Bombs, just to give you an idea of like kind of scent families that I really enjoy. So those are the products and items that I picked up during Black Friday. Very happy with all of the items that I picked up. Thank you again to Shantakai for sending over this beautiful package of products for me to try and share with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you think of the products that I picked up and that Shantakai sent me. Let me know what you picked up during Black Friday because you know sales are still occurring. Maybe not as great, but sales are still occurring. So let me know what you picked up and what products you've been loving that you picked up recently. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.